also an unconventional poet, spoken word performer, publisher, good dude, straight shooter, Henry Rollins. So, Henry. Henry? Yes, sir. Leave Skipper and Tina Louise back on the island, or what? Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm just getting ready to go play in a little while, so... Now, Henry, the thing I love about you, this is your second time here. Uh, we, uh, as a service to our guests, we offer our guests limos. You, you, you refuse to use these limos, right? I live down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was some heavy proletariat thing that almost brought a tear to my eye, and you live next door, damn it. But if you live far away, you wouldn't take our limo, would you? Sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where we leave it. <laughs> so you just got back from, uh, you're just in Europe, right? Yeah. Who were you over there with? The Chili Peppers? Uh-huh. We did about five weeks of the Chili Peppers all over the continent. Yeah. Great band, great people, and uh, really rocking. It was a great time. Yeah. Now, you, they bit into you in Europe before they ever got into you over here, didn't they? Yeah, we, we played Europe six times now, and it's the first time we ever had a real audience. Uh, the first tour we went there in 87, it was really receptive, where America was just kind of going... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's always nice to go there. Mm -hmm. And you're so intense uh, when you perform. You seem to get revved up for every each and every song. Do you, all, do you ever do two shows in a night? Or you, I, Yeah, I, sometimes. Yeah. We played today. We did a set at, at uh, Fullerton at the university. Yeah, yeah we, we played for free out there today and uh, jumped in the van, the limo or van, or, and we came here. The yeah, so, sometimes we play. I love times. the thought of you and Danny Bonaducci and Shirley Jones and... It's and a Partridge Family thing. All right. Uh, hey, let me show your book here. Where that one there? Book, eh? Oh, behind me. <laughs> now, you get, you get letters from fans, and you're one of the few guys, you really take time out each day to write these people, About right? two hours a day. Two hours a day, you write these? Yeah. And uh, how, many fan, how many fan letters does it, can you crank off in two hours? Well, it depends. Most of the time, uh, people write me and this ask, they want to know where we're going to be playing or, any, or something like that. Sometimes people write these very intense letters. Uh, yeah, I saw one from the girl who... I get a lot of letters from people in prisons, institutions, a lot of people um, who are really up against it. I so get, politicians are writing you. Uh, I get a, le a lot of letters from abused young people. Yeah. Because uh, there's a lot of that, a lot more of that that goes on than anyone really wants to know about. And so. Now, what kind of. Now, have you articulated problems like that in your past, or do you just think you give off some empathic vibe that people think that you'll no, help I've, them? I've been through a little. I've had some strange turns in, when I was growing up, and perhaps some people uh, can identify with some of the rage that I express perhaps or uh you know as far as the band i mean i'm one fifth of the band we're like a unit and and as far as the music goes our overall thing maybe gets the blood running for some people yeah well i you know i love your band but there's something about you in the center of it and i i hate to use the word charisma with you because i think you'd think that was a yank yank word but there's something about you that i think people sense is uh, completely legitimate i mean amongst the you don't have the shoes on, you know, you don't, you have the torn shirt, all the tattoos, but I think somewhere in there, you're like probably the most ethical, serious human I've had on this show. Oh, well, maybe, uh... uh I don't know. I, uh, I hate to embarrass you, man. Well, I feel like a lot of human behavior that we always exhibit with each other doesn't ring true with you. I didn't want to embarrass well, you. But... Well, I think perhaps what some people might dig about me personally is uh, they see some guy yelling and screaming. Like, I can't sing, I can't hold a note, you know? <laughs> I mean, but, I mean, I just kind of go for what I feel, and someone goes, yeah, I can get to that. He's not trying to be some pretty boy, you know? He's not offending me. Because a lot of those, like, singer guys... <laughs> well, it offends me. For me, a great, a great front man yeah. comes from some kind of tragedy, you know? It comes from some kind of fury is fueling that person, like James Brown or Iggy Pop, yeah. or someone like Michael Stipe, who, or Perry Farrell, someone who's just totally riveting. Well, what's, uh, what's at the bottom of it, though? If, you, if your pain ceases, does Henry Rollins, the performer, cease? Oh, I walk, yeah. Yeah? I only do music and writing and all that to ventilate rage and get what's inside, outside. I'm not in an entertainment. Yeah? I find entertainment kind of funny. And that's why it's fun to be uh, getting in uh, some places here and there, because 
entertainment is one thing and what we do is uh, it's real life. Well, man, I, I hope you don't feel like I'm ever prostituting you here. I just have you because no, I did listen to, be to here. We you. can't believe you guys asked us back. No, man. It's pretty <laughs> cool. Anytime you want, Henry Rollins. He's going to sing right after this. We'll be right back. Henry Rollins. If you're going to be in Los Angeles. Yeah. Hey. No, I told him to come down. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go around there. Come down. I want to get these people right up close. Don't fall, though. Time for a collective vent, folks. Here's a single tearing, the Rollins Band. Come on down. <laughs> of the Dennis Miller Show is brought to you by Miller Lite. It's it, and that's that. Come on! Hey! 
Say hi to Don Cornelius from Soul Train up in the crowd. Don, where you at, babe? Wave, hey. Hey, Don.